Hello everybody and welcome back to Simulate Gaming and welcome back due to high demand, welcome back to Emergency Call 112. So it's been a while since we've done a video on this, but um, you guys seem to be wanting a little bit more of it. So we're going to come back for another episode or two maybe. Um, we haven't got a call just yet, so we are waiting for a call out. No, I should probably wait inside the station, shouldn't I? Um, but yeah, welcome back. So Firefighter Friday didn't last very long. The views started to die off a little bit, which um, I understand is a pretty repetitive game. But it has been a few weeks now, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting for a call right now, and uh, we'll see what we'll get. I got a feeling the first one's going to be pretty boring, as like it usually is, but um, hopefully we'll get some pretty interesting stuff. Okay, so we got our first call out. It was actually literally as I said that. Um, so we've got Private Smoke Alarm triggered. So we are going to be the attack squad leader once again. That's my favourite role to do, as you guys know. Uh, so we're now a different guy. So we got to go ahead and find our way down to the, um, the door. Now, where's the handle? Usually you can see the handles. A bit rusty at this game, you see. Um, whatever, we'll go through here, and we'll go down the pole, which is on this side, I remember now. Like I said, a little bit rusty, it's been a few weeks since we've been on here. Which is through this door hither. There we go. Go ahead and slide down this pole. Should have another one, there we go. Slide down this one, and we'll be in the main engine, which is LF24, if I remember correctly. Yeah, LF24, we'll jump into this bad boy. Well, we definitely in this one. I think we are. There we go. So we're not going to be driving. I'll drive the next job, but for now we're just going to go ahead and uh, ride at shotgun. Oh, I forgot how to change view. There we go. C. How you doing, boys? It's been a while. Excuse me, Mini. Coming through. Is he putting sirens on? Oh, we're literally going down. I could have walked. I literally could have walked. Not to worry. Let's see what this has us. Now, usually these smoke alarms are fake, as you guys saw from a previous episode. Like they turn out to be smoke, uh, false alarms most of the time. But every now and then they will be real. So where are we heading into? Uh, there's the door. And I can't see any smoke pouring out the window, so it probably is a fake. There's the smoke alarm going off now. We move the camera over, you can hear that. Alright, ambulance is in. We're sort of blocking the road, but there's nothing we can do about that. Go ahead and start the job here. Let's see if we get any, um... Any objectives first of all. Tell you what. Oh, it's on the other side. I knew what roughly what we needed, but I was on the wrong side. There we go. So we want to get the, uh, what's it called? The Halligan tool, that was it. Go ahead and take this out. Like so. Now once again, it did automatically put the uh, respirator on us, which I don't usually like. But uh, I won't bother wasting time to get it out manually. We'll do it on the next job. And it looks like we're on the second floor, or first floor if you count the ground floor. Right, here we go. Let's go ahead and break into here now. Animation's a bit wonky. There we go. Open sesame. Right, in you go. Okay, so it looks like it is a false alarm. Yeah, it looks like it's a false alarm. I knew this would be the case. Every time. Oh, actually. Okay, it is. It's a false alarm. <sighs> I knew that was going to happen. Why do we even bother, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and get this packed up, and hopefully we get a uh, better job on the next call. Where do we get down from here? This way. Okay, so next call we have a building fire, so we're going to go ahead and uh, jump into this. Now, I was actually going to drive, as I said a second ago, but it turns out my uh, G29 steering wheel is being a bit weird, and for some reason combined pedals are on, so it just accelerates at full throttle constantly. So we're going to avoid that today, but we have got an interesting call out right now. We actually have a building fire, so I'm not sure how big it is, but it is a building fire nonetheless. Uh, there's the next pole, here it is. Right. So we are now once again attack squad leader because that means we get to do all the interesting things like actually use the uh, the hose pipes and stuff. Um, let's get into this door once again. Cool. So we're gonna head to this building fire. I'm not sure how far away it is. It doesn't tell you that information, but um, as soon as we get there, we should actually have some interesting stuff to do. Now the FPS is gonna get a bit low because it's nearly night time. Um, that's just a thing with this game. For some reason, the lighting engine causes pretty bad FPS. Now I am using a uh, GTX 1080. And I'm still getting pretty bad FPS, which is a bit of a shame, because it is a brilliant game, but hopefully there'll be some optimization fixes in the future. Right, here we go, we're gonna go through this traffic here. Okay, so we're just around the scene now. We actually got better FPS as well. Now. I think it's around the uh, fire station that we get bad FPS, but it is obviously a quite a big building with an interior and stuff, so that kind of makes sense. But, um... So we're on scene right now, still can't see any smoke just yet, but maybe there's some around the back. Uh, we can't actually get out just yet until all the units have arrived. So here it comes, the uh, the water truck. And then the ladder truck slow, or shortly behind that, and then hopefully the ambulance. There he is. 
Right, so we still can't see any... Maybe it's on that side. Actually, I think it might be on that side, judging by the... Uh, uh, I don't know. The thing is, with this game, you can go in every single building if they've got a uh, spawned interior. So it's hard to tell just yet, but we're going to go ahead and jump out right now. Let's go ahead and get all these uh, doors and stuff open. We don't need to, but it's just uh, better that way. Meanwhile, I will look for my respirator, which I believe is on this side just above the wheel. There it is. Let's go ahead and flip this out here. And uh, we'll get this bad boy on. Like that. Right, so what is my job? I ain't got a job just yet. Which door is it? Wait for these geezers to uh, set up everything. So we've got the distributor there. It looks like it might be this door here. Yeah, it's this door here. So we know what door we're going in now. We just need to wait for them to set up the hoses. So we've got the distributor here. We've got Bloki here that's putting down the actual pipe itself. He's plugging into the hydrant, as you can see there, in the ground. Right, you've got to plug it into the engine, I suppose. Yep. So I've got any jobs to do just yet, but we are ready to go. Here's the uh, the lieutenant, whatever you want to call him. The guy in charge. The chief. The fire chief. I don't know what that says. Right, got to plug that one in. Section leader from command control in. Section leader here listening. Following situation. What does that mean? Fire. In okay, so there is definitely a the fire has been confirmed. Hey, I want to be you. Hang on. Stop. F3. Okay, we're good. We were the wrong guy. Dang it, we could have been doing work this whole time. But we are now the proper guy. Now, which, uh... Which building is it? Which door is it, even? Is it this one? I have no idea what f room we're looking for. I think I'm in the wrong flat. Oh, no, we're not. We're in the right flat. Okay, so we found the flat. Uh, let's go ahead and use the, uh, the spray, actually. I'm not sure what the spray's for. Um, someone told me to use it in the last episode that we did, but it doesn't seem to do anything in this game, which is a bit annoying. So I'm not sure what it does in real life. I think it's just, like, smouldering fires. But um, it doesn't actually seem to do that much. So it looks like we've got a kitchen fire here. Haven't saw the seat of the fire just yet. Could be the oven. The oven is open, so I'm assuming it might actually be that. Let's go ahead and attack this. So that thing down the bottom I found out is actually not the oxygen. It's actually the temperature. So, um, obviously, if things get too hot, that temperature will go up. We're slowly attacking this fire now, so it's not too bad. Oh, it's come ignited again up on this side here. Right, let's see what it looks like in uh, third person here. So, when it starts smoldering like this, like the smoke, I think we're going to start using the, uh, the spray. We'll try the spray. I don't know if it'll work again. I don't know if it's actually going to do anything, but we'll do our best. There's no noise. That's what confuses me. It'd be good if they actually put a noise into it. Okay, no, we'll stick with the uh, the mainstream here. Right, get that put out at the top there. Like so. Come on, where's this fire? Where's it coming from? I think the actual uh, cabinets are still on fire. Yes, they are. We actually need to get inside the cabinet there. It looks like we are pretty much done. We're just going to make sure everything's definitely out. We'll go over it one time with the, uh, the spray once again. That's not doing anything. Where is that last bit of smoke coming from? There we go, we got it. So judging by this, it looks like it was caused by... It might be the dishwasher, or it might be the oven. Um, it's hard to tell now I've blown all the frying pans and stuff across the uh, the room. But uh, we got a box of... Uh, be more Flex, whatever that is. So yeah, I'm not sure what it is. It could be the dishwasher, or it could be the oven. Not sure at this point, but we are now done. So let's go ahead and run back downstairs here. With the hose pipe. Oh, can't say anything. Stay in third person for a bit. Uh, first person, even. So head back out. Get this uh, hose put away here. So we'll drop that onto the floor there. Get this disconnected. Put down the hose. Remove C hose end, which is that one. Put it on the ground. Use carrying basket. Okay. Did I do it? It's been a while. Yeah, we did do it. Cool. Just going to get this spray. We probably in real life would take the respirator off first, but um, not to worry. Let's go ahead and plop that into there like that. We'll get the uh, the respirator taken off. Um, how do we put it back in? I always forget this part. Push in compartment. That's it. Now you're going to close it for us. No. Okay, it's me. who's going to close it. Right. Right. There's a bit of a twitchy on this. Come on, get it. Get it. Can't reach the trigger. Oh, hang on. No, I found it. 
I think I stand too close to it. That's the issue. Come on. There we go. We got there eventually. So we are now done. And we can actually take the hat off as well. There we go. There's no animation for that or anything. We don't have to print it anywhere. It just appears and disappears. Go to vehicle door. Okay, so we are now done here. If you're American, probably say code three. I'm not really sure. But, um... Yeah, that's the building fire done. So we'll try and do a couple more of these. Hopefully they'll be uh, pretty interesting ones. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a jiffy. Okay, everybody, so we have a small fire right now. Now, I am going to try and drive the truck for you guys. Uh, machine operator. Now, bearing in mind, like I said, it is a bit dodgy because my uh, pedals are on combined, whatever it's called. And uh, I can't bother to tab out and change it because that will freeze the recording and then I'll lose everything I've just done. But um, we'll do our best. We'll just, um, we'll treat it like all, what do you call it, hand throttle on the tractor. We'll treat it like that. So we'll just have to hold uh, S on the keyboard to stop, basically. Um, where's the driver's seat? Over this side. Okay, I must remember these are actually German trucks. So I do get into the, the, uh, the left side, not the right side. So whilst we wait for our guide coming, who's actually already here, we'll go ahead and get our blues on. Let's get the engine turned on as well. So where are we heading? We're heading right out of here. I can't remember how to turn on the siren too. Okay, there we go. Once again, we're driving on the right-hand side of the road, not the left. Let's indicate this way. We are going to stop at the junction here, just in case someone comes flying around the corner. We're good. We're good. What happened to the camera? It just flipped around, man. Right, there we go. So hopefully these guys are going to wait for us. Once again, I'm going to go through this junction pretty slow. Using our mega horn. I don't know why it's called mega horn. When it's technically an air horn, but there we go. Once again, slow down for this junction. There we go. Right, so where are we heading now? We're heading right once again. Looks like there's no traffic whatsoever around here, which is good. And then straight away left. So I'm not actually pressing anything at this point, guys, to accelerate. I'm literally just steering. It's so like I said, it's automatically accelerating for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. But uh, there we go. I think this game must have an update because I've also lost all my uh, London Fire Department skins as well. So I'm assuming it's updated at some point without me realising. Right, there we go. Turn that way. So it's only a small fire. Don't have much more information than that, unfortunately. And one thing I am curious, if you look at the controls on the left-hand side, it says left indicator, right indicator, and it says zero. It doesn't say what zero does. I don't remember seeing that before. Oh, we have a bail fire. Interesting, considering this is a farm sim channel. How ironic. So I'm not sure how this bale caught fire. It must have been kids or something, but, um... Oh, we'll keep the blues on. Sorry, I want to turn the sirens off. There we go. Let's press return here. We'll jump out. Right, I need to switch to that guy real quick. So I'm going to do F4, F1. There we go. What? Nope. It's cheating. I, I wish they would change that. There's one thing I wish they would change. It's the fact that they automatically put the, uh, the respirator on. Right, let's go ahead and lift that up like that. There we go. So, next thing we need to do is to uh, put out the bail. Now, I'm pretty sure we've had a bail fire before, but I think that was on a live stream. So, are you ready? The water's on? Good. Oh, hang on. Let's try the spray. Okay, there we go. Let's use the main spray. So it's a pretty small fire. It's only a bell. I'm not sure how the bell caught fire. I'm also not sure where this came from because there's no grass on the floor whatsoever. But there we go. Maybe they're here for decoration. I don't know. What's they look like? They're made of straw, not hay. So I don't know. Never mind. It's not a farm game. We won't look into it too much. Let's quickly try a bit of uh, third person here. Uh, first person. I'm, why am I getting so confused with the uh, persons today? Let's try some third person once again. So it's slowly getting out. It's quite a big bale, so we do have to go all the way around it. Like so. Probably give it a little spray, actually, seeing as it's uh, grass, essentially. Oh, it's not doing anything. I'm not sure what the point of the spray is. I know what it's for in real life, but I don't know what it's for in the game, because it doesn't seem to do anything. Is that even going out at this point? I don't think it is. It's slowly going out, though. It is slowly going out. I think it's burning itself out more than anything. Right. Get in there. We'll slowly get in there. That's what, that's not a very round bale, but it has been on fire, so we'll let it off. Extinguish the fire. Oh, that's actually pretty good. They actually have deformed it as if it's been on fire. If you look over there, those ones are completely round. This one's like... 
Not so round. Although it is apparently still on fire. I don't know where, but apparently it is. So just spray it. There we go, we've done it. And that's how you try and roll this up a minute. We can do that by following the, uh, the hose pipe back around. Obviously, he'll be doing it on his side in real life, but it's a game. That way, that way. And we've done it. We managed to roll it up. Plop that back into there like that. We'll get the uh, the respirator taken off here. There we go. And we'll put the department back away. Do I have to do this myself? We'll do it anyway. There we go. So, once again, I'm not going to bother letting him... I'll let him drive now, basically. But there we go. That is a uh, small bale fire. So we'll do one more job, and I think we'll call that a day... Uh, so if you are enjoying 112 once again, so we had a little break, if you are enjoying it once again, this has been a bit of a random video, we've had loads of random jobs, but if you do want to see more, do let me know in the comment section and we can make more of this, even if I upload it as a second video a day, because I know you guys want more farm sim and stuff, but, you know. So yeah, we'll drive back to the, uh, the station, we'll hopefully do one more job, and I'll see you guys there, actually. It's, it's glitched out again, it says close roller gate. Well, we'll do that when we get up to the station, never mind. Whoa, what's going on here? Get off the road! I oh, just got run over. What is going on? Okay, Reese, for the last one, we've got an interesting job. Now, we've seen this a couple of times, but it is my favourite job to do. So, we're going to be doing a road traffic accident today. There is, uh, I don't think there's any trapped personnel, but we're going to go ahead and show up anyway. Not sure if this is going to be uh, one we have to cut the roof off or just tidy up. So, there is two different types. In fact, there might be more, but I've only ever seen two types of road traffic collisions. One with trapped passengers and one where it's just a mess and we have to clean it up, basically. So we'll quickly jump in to the good old-fashioned engine. In fact... Tell you what, since it's the last job, we will go ahead and uh, drive so you guys actually have something a bit more interesting to look at. I did just click the wrong one, though. There we go. So we'll jump in to the fire engine and we'll drive ourselves there. All right, we are ready to go. Let's get the sirens on. So I'm these are pretty far away, usually. So hopefully today is not the same, because I do want to get there pretty quick, so we don't have to waste you guys' time. Oh, ambulance, ambulance. Thank you. Oh, we're getting a lot of lag around here. It's definitely the station that's doing it. There we go. We're through that junction, no issues whatsoever. So we're going to be making a left up here. We'll get indicating now to the cars to see us in the mirrors as we approach them. Right, stop. Right, we're going straight through this junction here. It only just turned red, so we should be fine. Might indicate right. Uh, more lag. The longer you play this game, the, longer you, the worse FPS you get. I'm not sure what causes it. And also the camera keeps doing that. Right, there we go, we're through once again. Straight forward, where's the ambulance? I think we've lost them. Right. Excuse me. Okay, we the accident is just up ahead. I can see the uh, the police van there waiting to let us in scene. Right, let's go ahead and get the uh, sirens off here. Thank you. We'll make enough room for this ambulance. Well, about here, I reckon. Here comes the ambulance right this second. Come on. Awesome. So let's quickly go ahead and see how long this takes. Um, so we need to, first of all, in fact, I'm going to switch real quick to, once again, the attack squad leader, which is F2. There we go. In fact, no, we were the attack squad leader last time. So what we're going to do is possibly switch to... Um, yeah, we'll do number three. We'll do this guy. Okay, so we're going to be the attack squad, but not the attack squad leader. We'll get some different jobs this way. Let's go ahead and move this out the the way here. Now, the, okay, so these are the passengers. They are okay. They're talking to each other by the look of it. Just having a little bit of a debate. They look okay with each other. They're not arguing or anything. They're exchanging details and whatnot. So what do we have to do? Collect the fuel absorbent. Where's that? Okay, it's you. So looks like we don't have to rescue anyone. So it's going to be quite an easy one today. So maybe we're going to have to get the broom. It might be the other guy though. Let's quickly get ready just in case. Oh, it is us. Okay, never mind. We'll escape that then. So where is the broom? There it is. Collected. Nope. There we go. I pressed E then by accident. Right. So we've got an interesting job today. We literally just have to sweep the road. That's our job for this uh, this task. There we go. 
Leave interaction, go to Roger, we'll put the little, uh, the broom back. And it looks like we're done, so we don't have to cut anyone out. We just have to tie it. Why did you do that? Idiot. No. Put, there we go, put it back in. Rude guys. Right, let's get our helmet off, and I think we are done here, I think. Now the police are going to deal with actually getting the cars removed and stuff. We've just came to make the scene safe, and it uh, looks like we did that. So thank you once again for joining me in this. This has been Emergency Call 112. Links to this game will be available in the description box below. If you did enjoy, please tap the thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.